gentrification and lots of uh, people from over the world coming to moving into my town because they want to live in a poor neighborhood where they can bring thousands of dollars. Not too long ago, there was a shooting where an African-American young person was bleeding to death and the police care more to follow their protocols to cordon the whole area than to save the bleeding black brother. Well, we had two African-American brothers who were the Good Samaritans to aid those African-American kids. And guess what? They got arrested because they took a stand. When you are a Good Samaritan, do you follow the men's laws or God's laws? God. So Marcus Angel Copper stood his ground, took a stand to save the bleeding African-American young person while dozens of police in a aid that African-American. He got arrested, another brother also got arrested, and they went to jail. Recently, we just got his charges dismissed. Let's give him a big hand of applause. Uh, Tuesday, if you're locally here, come and join us to the Monomah County to hopefully they will dismiss the charges. So I'll let him speak a little bit about what happened and why he got arrested when he was against marriage. All right. You have to forgive me, my voice is kind of shot. I'm a dance instructor. I've been competing all weekend. Um, Okay, guys, if the mountain doesn't go to you, <laughs> nothing to be afraid, just brown people. Come on. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to take no praise. It's not about <coughs> me. What happened is tragic. Um, to just get to that point, it's not about about the shooting and about myself and Glenn saving the victim. What it's about is the community. People need to realize that this is community. Community is not just one thing. And the failed part about it is when there was a black kid shooting, a black person doing this, and a black person doing this. They call that gang violence. Yeah. But in the white community, if it's white people doing it, they call it mental issues or <laughs> disturbia or whatever the case. Um, that imagery is what's wrong. And due to the, the desensitization of that in the media, we are used to it and we feed into it. So then in that community that's gentrified, they feel safe and comfortable, not because of what happened to issues, but because there are black people getting arrested. And yeah. since that's thugs, we're safe. The issue, like I said, I'm not here to take the praise. What I'm here to is to turn this around, and whatever fame or popularity I have, I'm trying to put that spotlight on the community. People need to realize that in this gentrified community, where it was black community and brown community, now it is getting us pushed out because we can't afford due to new people moving in. That promotes hate, that promotes desensitization, that promotes thugs versus rich, poor versus rich. And instead, I'm trying to turn that around so people can realize what's really going on. That is more than each one teach one. Uh, with this imagery, like I said, there was a shooting at the event. There was a couple of victims that got hit. Myself and Glenn picked this child up, brought him inside for safety. There's a police officer right in front of us that ran. Cool. Across the street, another person got hit. There were three white women that did the same exact thing that we did. And we got arrested, uh, and they didn't. They got a news article very okay. rewarding and praise. <laughs> <That's> we got <laughs> media slander. Now, I'm not no, here to fine. play victim. I can care less. That's been happening to us since You're day one. All right? stay what stay I'm stay praising on is that we have this community I of all touch different your colors. Hair. You just put it on top if you want. We need to realize that this is what this is. This is community. This is what needs to be shown over there in our gentrified area. We could all live together if we were all unified. When I grew up, into my neighborhood, we would come to your door and introduce ourselves. Yeah. We would ask you who yeah. you were so that you were welcomed. All right, that's unity. That's what you're supposed to be. Now it's if you moved in, you just moved in. You don't know your neighbors. Yeah. All you know is your address. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That, that's true. what's happening. 
So with gentrification, with all this other crap that's going on, we want to promote unity in our community. And that's what that's for. So with myself, like I said, uh, like you said, Glenn has court. I got my charges dismissed, thank God. Uh, thank God. And we're, we're still fighting. It's not about literally what just happened. This is a bigger image. The image after the day is that's all done. It's not in the news no more, right? Right. Black kids shooting each other. That's just gang violence. It's done, right? Yeah. That's it, right? That's what's not it's right. It's not done. We got to still keep pushing. Keep it relevant. It's a sad day to know that there's so many articles to share about who just died, who just died, who just died, who just died, who just died. Who just died. And we got to share it now because tomorrow somebody else is going to die. Somebody else is going to die. Somebody else is going to die. Yeah. There's too many articles to share. That's a sad story. But how is it there's so many articles and people still on awake? Yeah, it's mm. right. How all these people dying and people still don't even know. Mm. We have to share. We have to share. Mm.